How are you? I'm the Weather on the Fit Food, and I'm here to get you excited and hyped to live an active health lifestyle. Aren't you ready to lose weight and feel great just like I did? as you can here at home just using your home gym and these two things you have your left and right hand so join me in the well on the fit booty as i'll show you how to get the most out of yourself at the home gym Hey, Fit Foodie family, how are you? It is Llewellyn the Fit Foodie. It is my honor and privilege today to be working with you to welcome you to the best day of your life because today we're going to get all we need to out of ourselves. Now, one thing I want you to know is there's a lot more to working out than just working out. I mean, forget about the health, forget about the aspects of things that, you know, you know you're going to get. This is the most important part. I'm going to show you how to become him. That's right. That guy get the same out of it because this applies to men and women but for men this is how you get to be him let's go to the trusty whiteboard now look being him starts today with being present be present in your journey to be him in fact you're already him you're already the baddest mofo in the block you're the baddest that you've ever been but we're gonna take you to the ultra place. We're going to take you to a place that you haven't seen and that requires you to come up with a daily plan. But you got to be present. So once you're present in your life every day, then you start working on the plan. Now the plan is not that hard, but it has three core parts to it. You're going to work on your mental game, your physical game, and then your financial game. Because at the end of the day, if you're not going to get healthy, wealthy, and build opportunities, what the heck are you doing? Getting in shape just to be looking good don't work if you're not attracting what you want to. Having the person you want in your life is great, but if you don't have the money or the finances or the, the way to maintain that life, it's going to suck. And honestly, all that is trash if your mind ain't right. So mental, physical, and financial. Now, this being present and having this plan is going to lead you down to how you live your life Monday through Sunday. Monday through Sunday. Now let's talk about your week. What do you do the first thing you do when you wake up? Most of us grab our phone. Stop that bull crap today. No more waking up and grabbing your phone. A piece of hardware, silicone, plastic, something some other person made to distract you from who you are is not what you need. So number one, the first thing I need you to do is wake up and feel energized about who you are. The second thing is, Use this grid to get the most out of yourself. So Monday, or whatever day you're on, but let's start with Monday. You're going to eat. Now you need to eat yourself something healthy. A salad, a light snack, uh, some walnuts, almonds, other type of things in your life. I didn't say anything fast food. I didn't say anything like that. But if you're on the go and you have to get something from one of these big chains, Order it plain. No cheese, no extra sauces, nothing. You can get yourself a circular breakfast sandwich from a popular location and order it plain. Eat the outside and take the top portion off and only eat half of the bottom and eat the meat and you can still move forward in your day. But you got to eat something. So fuel yourself. And as you start to grow in your workout process, you'll learn that you don't need as much food as you used to. So eat. Then you're going to exercise. Four core plus one more. Get up, brush your teeth, eat something, four core, have yourself something to drink. Boom, 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 boom. Put yourself on a regimented, consistent plan that you can do every day. That's what it's about. So you're going to eat, you're going to exercise, and then you're going to socialize yourself. You are going to stop living on this phone. You're going to get out. I want you to say hi to five new people. Just go outside and say hi. I'm not looking to get anything out of you. I just want to interact with the human and say hello. Simple as that. Hopefully they smile back. Maybe they even look at you like you're weird. That's something you put in your mental Rolodex and it's a great story for you next time. But go say hi 
high five people in the world, five real people. Now, now that you socialize, you're gonna work on your mental game. Sit down, find a quiet place. Most of us have to drive. So turn that radio off, turn the music off, roll up the windows, turn on your AC, breathe it in and just keep quiet for as long as you can. Focus on what you're doing, make sure that you're safe quiet as long as you can, if you can stop even better, if you can sit in a quiet place even better, but get yourself into the center, get comfortable with who you are and what you are inside. Now, that your mental game is starting to get tough, you're going to get some sleep. Most of us, as we age, we like to stay up late, 10, 11, 12, midnight, watching these shows, and stop that. What are these things doing for you that, honestly, you can't do for yourself at a later date? With all this wonderful technology we have, you're not missing anything. You can go on several social sites and see everything that you think you're missing. So stop it. Get better with your life. Your life is yours. Don't give it to a box. So eat, exercise, socialize, get your mental game right, and you're going to sleep. You're going to try to sleep for, you know, eight hours. Most of us don't get that, especially as you age. I used to sleep like a dead person. Then I started sleeping four or five hours at a time. It was horrible. So get yourself back on a consistent schedule. That's going to get your mental game right. You're going to feel better. You're going to sleep better. Also, for those of us who snore or used to snore or still kind of snore, get yourself checked out for sleep apnea. I have a sleep apnea machine. I use it pretty much every night. And it has done wonders for my sleep, which is a key important ingredient in changing your body. With all these hard workouts we're doing, this is another way that I lost basically a human being, 180 pounds right now. So keep pushing hard. You can get there too, but you got to get your sleep on. So now that you have yourself on an eating schedule, repeat and repeat and repeat Monday through Sunday. As you do this, Try to find different ways to play with each one of these areas to make it more interesting, such as what you eat, change it up a little bit. Me, it's easy when I eat the same things all the time. So when I started, I was eating little salads, broccoli, drinking, um, you know, the sugary drinks still and all that, but I had to scale it down. And that's what this represents, a scale down. Now, I want you to start tying what you eat and what you do to cost. Did you know everything you do in your life costs? When you wake up, it costs. When you go to sleep, it costs, let alone what you do in between that. So you got to start thinking about what you do through this time and how it costs you. What you're going to find out is when you start this process, it's going to cost you a lot. Why? Because you're changing your habits. You're going to stop doing the things that you thought were comfortable and you accepted. And you're going to try to switch over to eating a different type of uh, lifestyle process. But that's going to conflict with what you do today. So what you have to do is kind of figure out how to merge them and then slowly taper off on the things that are pulling you down and invest yourself in these things so that you can eat a more stable line of food. That way your costs become really, really manageable. Now, as you start to eat better foods, the costs come down. You're going to notice all these weird little things. Now, one of the greatest parts of LLTFF and working out consistently is the amount of trash you don't have. I used to take my trash out three, four times a week. Now, once a week, and I skip trash days. How great is that? That is saving me money because I'm buying less box things, I'm having less trash, and less effort spent there, which gives me more time here. So, your costs are going to start to come down over time. You're going to start to box all these different things that are going to be successful. You're going to write what you liked about Monday, what you liked about Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, what you didn't like. And you start to balance those things out so that you can find a way to make them more comfortable. And you start to eat better and be more consistent. And you're going to see your costs come down. Now, the most important thing you got to do to become him, you got to be consistent. So you see here, month one, this blackness refers to the fog of death. For 30 days, you're going to live in this fog of death. It's tough to change yourself mentally. And you're going to be very sad and upset because your friends won't understand. Your family may not understand. Your kids may not understand. Whoever you're dating won't understand. But you have to continue to fight through that mental fog, that black, gooey stuff in your mind. But once you do that, you're going to find yourself slowly finding a calmer peace and a show in your life. And that's going to really taper you out in month two. Now, around month two, you're going to find yourself around those real ones and those fake ones going to fall off. The real ones are going to help propel you and push you to month three. And month three, ladies and gentlemen, is when you become him or 
the version of perfect. The most important thing is you're going to be the best damn version of yourself. And that is right here in month three. Because all of this sacrifice in month one, all this hard mental work you did in month two is going to lead to the platform in month three where you feel empowered, you feel strong, you feel the strength inside. And ladies and gentlemen, this is when you become him. This is when you become the new version of yourself. It's like you are reborn. You see the sky different. You see the sun different. You feel the energy of life different. And that's what you need to do to be the best version of yourself. Stop allowing the things of the past to lead you down a path that's not going to take you to a better place in the future. Just like me. Again, 445 pounds, folks. That was all behind self-loathing, all behind the people I had in my life, all behind the things I thought were consistent and I thought they were going to feed me and they did. They drained me. So what did I do? I stripped it out of my life. I found a new path forward and through self-love, I found health, wealth, and opportunity. So from me to you, work hard, follow this plan. Be present in your life every day and bring those with you who want to be with you and leave those alone on the side who don't want to ride and help propel your journey to the next stage. Again, it's going to take about three months, but three months is 90 days. There are shortcuts all day long. You can take all kinds of pills. You can take all kinds of other things, but guess what? If you love yourself first, none of those things matter because self-love is the drug that will always feed you back. Okay? That's the one that you want. Now, Let's get busy. Let's go to work. Let me show you some new exercises. I want you to work hard today because you can get the most out of yourself just like I have. I'm Luella the Fifth Foodie. Thank you so much to my sponsors and everyone who's helped me empower you with self, wealth, knowledge, and the power to be the best version of yourself. So first thing we're going to do is get ourselves moving, get ourselves shaking, feeling good about ourselves, get our arms out in the tee, and remember we're here to fight bad health, bad habits, and anything that's kept us down. So let's get our legs moving, come on, let's go, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, one, two, three, four, five, you look great, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, good job. Now we're gonna put our arms out to T and we're gonna touch our chest, starting with our right. Are you ready? One, two, three, let's go. One, two, three, four, you look great. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, way to go, woo, come on. Keep the legs going, keep the legs going. Now we're gonna get our jumping jacks going. Are you ready, jumping jacks? Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. And step, and step, and step. You're looking good. Step. Come on. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And T, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now touch the top of your head. We're going to start with the right again. And three, two, one. Touch the right. And one, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, you look great. One, two, three, four, keep it up. One, two, three, four, keep stepping now. One, two, three, four, we're gonna go squat. Get ready for the squats, come on. One, two, three, four, get ready for the squats. I know you are, come on. And three, two, one, Let's go. Three, two, one, and squat. Boom. One, two. Come on. Three, four. We're going ten. Five. Come on. Six. Keep going. Seven. Come on. Eight. You got it. Nine. Come on, y'all. Ten. Ah, way to go. Yeah. Step. 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 That's the way to go. L L T F F. Step. 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 Ooh, put your arms out in the T. Breathe in that air. You're here to get the best out of yourself. That's what we do. Come on. One, two, three, and touch. Knees to your L. 
elbows. Let's go. Knees to your elbow. Hercules. Hold the Hercules. Come on. And three, two, start with the right to the elbow. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Step. One, two, bring them arms in. Four, good job. One, two, yeah. Three, four, keep stepping. One, two, three, four. Going back to the squats. Two, I'm gonna count you down. Three, four, let's go. Three, two, one. Three for the squat. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four. Good job. Five, keep it up. Six, come on. Seven, push out. Eight, thrust through. Nine, you got it, come on. Ten, ah, oh, step, come on. Two, three, four, good job. One, two, three, four, good job. You getting warm yet? Are you feeling it? Right, breathe in that air. We're gonna stop it. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, stop. Good job, LLT at that family. Hey, Fifth Foodie family, how are you? It's your man, Llewellyn, the Fifth Foodie. Today is day one of the 30-day Super Go Hard transformation. The uh, really, really dialed in nutrition, the uh, exercises, and this is basically finishing up the first hour of a six-hour workday. So right now, I'm gonna finish up this cardio. I've been out here for uh, 45 minutes, jog walking and uh, sprinting. So now I'm gonna finish this up, get to go in and have me a protein shake. Then we hit the weights for another hour. Then it's a sauna. Then it's a two hour rest, maybe even a little bit of sleep. And I'm right back at it for another two hour session between one and three o'clock. Then it's rest, sleep, protein. Back at it between six and nine. Getting down, all weights, all body weight, a little bit of boxing then asleep and repeat. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining the show. I'm Llewellyn the Fit Foodie. I really appreciate your time this week. Don't forget to join every week on my YouTube and the Instagram channel and make sure that you live an active and healthy lifestyle. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day. I'ma do one more rep. I'ma do one more set. I'ma do it one more time I know my life on the line I'ma do one more rep I'ma do one more set I'ma do it one more time I know my life on the line I'ma do it Nobody can take it, nobody can make it stop Nobody can tell me that you can see my beating heart I know what's going on inside of me Boy, I feel the pain I